YouTube. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. So, uh, last week, finished my week off 3 a.m. Thursday. Uh, rolled in, delivered my reload about 9 a.m. And uh, got a call from dispatch. You want to go to Texas? Yeah, all right. I'll go to Texas. It's a... Uh, I'm going over to Abilene. So, from where I'm at, you're about... 20 hours it's a 20 hour steam Abilene's about a couple hundred miles uh, like south southwest of Dallas not so much south more west of Dallas so they say uh well, I've got um, I've got three loads leaving out of the same place, going delivering the same place. There'll be three of you going. I've got two double drop loads and one Conestoga, and I just say okay. The kick, the catch is, is you got to leave Sunday because it's got to be down there for two, first thing Tuesday morning. I said, all right. So I got done delivering that load and then got my dispatch. What did I get? I got the flatbed load. I got the Conestoga load, which doesn't pay its straight time. So the other two, the two other drivers got the two uh, double drop, and um, well, I, I had said on a video not too long ago that I can't remember the last time I had an oversize, um, you know, and I can't remember any that I that I hooked up to anything that paid extra basically been straight time so I wasn't happy about that and um, but I didn't say anything what am I gonna do well, what are you gonna say oh I thought I might have gotten that I thought I might have got one of those double jobs I mean well, you thought wrong. <laughs> you thought wrong, I guess, right? So, but uh, ended up going and uh, loading up on Thursday, and then I had Friday off. So, that's why you didn't hear from me on Friday. But here we are, and it's uh, Sunday. Just got done doing my 30-minute. It's... Uh, high noon and um, yeah on our way down to Abilene I've got um, a couple robots on well I've got I've got some of the apparatus and some of the guarding some of the extra stuff that goes on the robots the actual robots themselves went on the double drop so you know, uh, if you don't know what a double drop trailer is, it's, it's, uh, the trailer just sits, you know, it's, it's got, it's an open end on both sides. It's got two steps, right? A step on the back, a step on the front. The, the double drop that we have has a really long tongue at the front and it's, uh, uh, four feet high and, the the actual, uh, rear of it, um, is, uh, 
is only a two foot drop. So it's double the drop on the front as it is on the back. And um, it gives us the ability to uh, load tall, right? And uh, that load there on the double drop, that pays an extra 10 bucks an hour. 10 bucks an hour. So the double drops on a, a kit. It's on a it's a Conestoga uh, Conestoga double drop. So there's no tarping involved. But if you're working on that uh, on that double drop and you're you know you're working your straight time and then you got the ten bucks an hour extra, uh, you know that works out to about six hundred bucks extra on the trip, right? For basically, you know, for nothing really. If you're familiar with, uh, if you're if you're comfortable uh, with a double drop setup, it's nothing. So yeah, bent a little bit about that, uh, but I am uh, I'm rolling tandem with uh, with the guy that's on the double drop. One of the guys that's on the double drop. The other one left Friday. I guess he wanted to uh, get up to Dallas and, and putts around Dallas for a couple days, which is nice with this company. You know, they're very uh, flexible in that way. Uh, you know, if you want to go up early and uh, you want to hang out and rent a car or whatever, as long as the, uh, you know, as long as you're parked legally and yada, yada. I think most companies are that way. Hey, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, so he went up on Friday. I think he went up with his wife. So, you know, I guess it's a, it's a nice little uh, cheap weekend vacation. Uh, which is cool. So anyways, I'm up there and I'm and one of the guy that I'm the guy that I'm rolling with, he's been here uh, at the company just shy of 12 years, he said. And um, I guess about four hours into the four hours into the trip, we're on uh, we're on channel 23, right? And uh, we're just uh, we're chatting up a little bit, and um, he 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 asks me what I've been up to, and like in the last little while, right? What I've been up to, and he's not asking me what I've been up to in my personal life. He wants to know what's going on at work, right? And, I talked a little bit about this on my last video. You gotta be careful when you start talking politics and work, especially with somebody that's been at the company 12 years. You know, he's a company man. And I don't wanna hear my grievances or my displeasure with, with anyone at the company, let alone somebody that's you know, got 12 years in. So I, but I did say like, uh, I said, uh, yeah, I said, uh, you know, about three, 400 mile radius, so about the last month, not doing anything special. Uh, lucky to get in uh, 50 hours, more like 40, 45. And uh, yeah, just taking anything I can get, anything they're gonna give me, right? And um, that was it, short and sweet, and no response. I said, uh, so I guess he's waiting for me to ask him, like, what he's been up to, I suppose. So I said, I'm sure you've been pretty busy, though. And he said, no. Nope. Uh, you know, pretty much the same thing. Now, mind you, his hours might be the same as mine, but when you're making 10 bucks more an hour, and you're doing the, the tarped, oversized uh, permit work, well, you can, you can afford to work 40 hours a week, right? Now, once, you, once, it, once it all washes out, you're still, you know, up around the 60 hours uh, for someone who's working straight time. So, but with that being said, I would have never assumed, I mean, you know, you have, I have to be careful about assuming things as we all do, and when you're in the shit and you're you're dealing with, you know, small checks 
it's easy to get to this this attitude of like, you know, poor me and uh, and I'm getting picked on type shit, right? Uh, but uh, but as it turns out, um, we had uh, one driver quit. He'd been there four four or five years. He he quit last week. You know, can't afford to stick around. And you know, I've been flirting with the idea of of, of leaving as well. Um, but I'm gonna hold on. I'm going to. Uh, you know, I'm going to hope that things kind of straighten themselves out. From what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, videos and, and, and all the rest of it, you know, rates are picking up a bit. Things look like they're on the, uh, they're, they're, they're on the uh, up, upswing, the uptick. So, we'll see, right? We'll see. I mean, maybe this is the opportunity for me to say, hey... Let me throw my ring in the hat, or my hat in the ring, my ring in the hat. Let me throw my hat in the ring. Maybe I'll go buy one of these cheap, uh, you know, uh, equipment still uh, relatively inexpensive, right? Right? There's still, uh, you can still get a truck for a relatively uh, uh, good price right now. If rates continue to, to skyrocket, well, maybe skyrocket to... Uh, <laughs> Uh, maybe that's uh, pushing it a bit. If rates continue to climb, then then equipment's going to go up, right? Because I do think that there's folks out there that are just waiting for rates to increase, and then they're going to pull the trigger and they're going to gobble up all this cheap equipment and try and uh, try their luck, right? And I think there are people out there that are, are that are just waiting to seize the uh, seize the opportunity, seize the moment, if you will. And uh, maybe this whole, like, maybe this is all just supposed to be happening the way it's happening. And maybe I, I decide to go buy a truck, right? Maybe I decide to go and, uh, and, uh, and, and get, out, get out there and, and see what I can do. I certainly am capable, right? And, um, you know, without the risk, there's no reward. It's, it, it hasn't been the time uh, in the last, you know, three years to, uh, you know, two years for sure to even think about putting a truck on the road. But like I say, from what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, what I'm reading, things do seem to be, uh, to be uh, progressing. And, uh, with it being slow here, well, maybe we, maybe we, maybe we think about it. Don't I? Sure, I've considered it, right? I, I've, I've thought about it. I've thought about it on multiple occasions throughout, you know, my career. But and and I am, I, I am a risk taker, right? I am, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not foolish. Right, and um, you you know when 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 it, when when it, when it all kind of plays itself out, and you have it in black and white in front of you, I can't I can't make it make sense, right? It's like what well, I would just be doing it out of straight like ego. Well, just because I can doesn't mean I should. Is the way that I've seen it, right? Um, but. Maybe that's the move. Maybe the move is go out by uh, buy a truck and, and and put it on under someone else's authority, right? You know, make uh, get that eighty percent of the load, fuel surcharge, blah blah blah, and uh, put it on with a company that's got uh, you know subcontracted freight, you know, minimize my risk. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things kind of play out here. This is going to be a good week. Last week wasn't too bad, right? Ended up in the, the 55 hours. This week, I'll be right around that as well, 55. 
and um, you know we can we can roll with that. Forty hours? No, can't roll with forty hours. So, so we'll uh, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to speed this week. I don't uh, I don't particularly have any uh, any high hopes for. Uh, any high hopes for uh, uh, getting uh, getting a, re- a reload rate out of Texas? I think that uh, I'll end up maybe uh, pulling something, uh, heading heading back up uh, back up north, and uh, and getting some on the way home. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. And uh, yeah, other than that, leave a comment. Hope you guys have a good start to your week. And uh, let me know. Do you guys uh, have you guys seen the rates uh, increasing? Is it just a figment of my imagination, or are things uh, uh, are things improving? And uh, you know, let me know. And let me know what you think about uh, uh, throwing uh, my hat in the ring as uh, you know buying a truck. And you know, I'd like to know your opinion. I know there's uh, lots of. Uh, smart people that have been in this industry for quite some time that follow uh, follow the channel so I'd be interested in hearing your pers- per- perspective on things so with that we'll uh, we'll leave it at that we'll see you on the next video drivers lounge over and out